All Manipur Students Union observes the 52nd Hunger Marches Day today to commemorate the historic agitation launched by students against artificial food scarcity. Mahud Minister Thawnazam Shamkuma maintains that the state will be developed only when food security, health service and human resource develops. Mob tries to set ablaze the house of a man who allegedly attempted to rape a married woman at Mongshangri Awanglikai. Police prevents the mob from setting the house on fire. And former Wangwe MLA Salam Joy claims that the people of Wangwe constituency have not received rice under Nafsa. Hello, welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English News with me, Priyo Bharta, and now the news in detail. Commemorating the historic agitation launched by students against the artificial food scarcity in the state on this day in 1965, All Manipur Students Union MSU observed the 52nd Hunger Marches Day today. Large number of students today took out a march rally in remembrance of Chaklam Khongchat. Four student martyrs sacrificed their lives on this day in 1965 during the mass uprising against the artificial food scarcity caused by traders from outside the state exporting rice grains from the state. Since then, MSU has been observing the day as the Hunger Marches Day. Large number of students gathered at the memorial site of the four student martyrs at Singjamai Chingamakha since early in the morning and began the observance with Yakai Roll. Commemorating the day, leaders of MSU hoisted the flag of the students' union. Later, family members of the students who sacrificed their lives Leaders of MSU and students paid floral tributes to the portraits of the martyrs Oinam Nabakumar, Laishtam Chaubal, Nomi Kapam Pramodini and Waikom Nilamani. A march rally was then taken out from Marangkum Road through Kesham Thong, chanting various slogans under strict security of the police personnel and converged on DM College campus and held a public meeting at Multipurpose Hall of DM College. We are organizing 52nd Hunger Masters Day, Changlam Kongchat Numit, in connection with the martyrs who have let down their lives for our motherland. Let's stay unite and join together. No political conspiracy on any grounds, no politics in food grains. On the other hand, speakers at public meeting at DM College Multipurpose Hall spoke on the roles of MSU leaders in various issues of the state. They maintained that the agitation might not have occurred if the then government listened to the student cr students' cry to provide food. They said many revolutions might have failed without the students' participation. Speakers emphasized the importance of youth's participation in the movement. Students who took part in the rally were also present on the occasion. MSU District Committee Jiribam also observed the 52nd Hunger Marches Day at the auditorium of Jiribam Higher Secondary School. A rally of representatives of different organizations of different communities, civil society organizations, Merapai Bs and students of different schools and colleges marked the beginning of the observance. Later, floral tributes were offered to the martyrs and a two-minute silence was also observed. Manipur Students Association Kolkata Masak also observed the 52nd Hunger Marches Day at Manipur Bhavan, Kolkata today. They also paid for tributes to the portraits of former Chief Minister Rishan Kaishing and late Siddharth Morangthem, son of former Minister Morangthem Okendro, on the occasion.
Office Modernization BJP Manipur Pradesh organized Sankalp Se Siddhi Determination to Attainment New India Movement 2017 to 2022 at the residence of spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh Dr RK Ranjan in Kongba Nandebam Lekai today speaking on the occasion Mahud Horticulture and Forest Minister Thonojam Shamkumar maintained that the state will be developed only when food security health service and human resource develops he asserted that the new government in the state is striving towards maintaining a good and strong governance people in the state have longed for good governance the bjp led government in the state is working towards development a state free of corruption and a strong government since the new government came into being many cases have been resolved the minister said if people knew the vision of bjp to maintain a stable government in the state they will not criticize the government shankumar further said bjp volunteers play an important role in ensuring the work of the government reaches the public He also emphasized the importance of public leaders in carrying out developmental works by understanding the sen- sentiments of the people. Former President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Mainam Bharat, Vice President M. Primananda Sharma, Spokesperson Prof. Tiken, senior members of the party and many volunteers were present on the occasion. Participants also took a pledge to maintain cleanliness, to wipe out poverty, corruption and terrorism. I am not here. बीजेपी से कहा जी वह पंगा ना नहीं पापा ना नहीं तो बीजेपी उतार दिया है वो खंग दबी नहीं है वो खंग दबी ने खंग का नुकसान किया है वो कहीं ना तो सरकार से में लाए हुए जी थाम ओह मेरे दिन आशीर्वाद है मामा ना सुना मैं आम दो मतलब कि प्रोग्राम पुलिसी मैं आम कुछ भी नहीं है वो सरकार A mob tried to set the house of a man who allegedly attempted to rape a married woman at Mongshangi Awanlikai on fire today. Singhjami Police and Imphal West Police personnel prevented the mob from setting the house on fire. The furious people tried to demolish the house of the culprit. but volunteers of southern imphal youth welfare organization pacified them yesterday today people began to vandalize the property of the house and tried to burn the house accusing the family members of hiding the accused police rushed at the site on time to contain the situation a team of firefighters from manipur manipur fire service also arrived at the spot it may be recalled that opendro allegedly attempted to rape a married woman at mongshange awanlikai the culprit escaped when the neighbors rushed on hearing the woman cry for help An FIR had been registered at Singhjami Police Station. The incident took place at Mongshangi Awanlikai under Singhjami Police Station around 3 yesterday morning. Sources said Konthojum Opendro has committed crimes against women in the past in the same locality. Former Wangoi MLA Salam Joy has claimed that the people of the constituency have not received rice under NAFSA. He alleged that the fair price shop agents have withdrawn the rice from the godown and not distributed to the public. NAFSA Welfare Committee Wangoi formed by the beneficiaries of the constituency brought up the issue to the former MLA at his Samaro residence today. They told the former MLA that rice has not been distributed for 9 months in different parts of the constituency. There are also many beneficiaries who have been provided with the cards however rice has not been distributed even once the local mla has not acted yet despite many requests the committee appealed salam joy to assist in the matter reacting on the issue salam joy said it is unfortunate for the six fair price shops to have withdrawn rice from the godowns but not distributed to the public the former mla assured of all possible assistance in this regard including helping the nafsa welfare committee wangoi if they take up the matter at a court ไม่เป็นเหรอเฮาได้ก็ตอเรชิมาชาบะนี่น่ะอชุมบะคงทางนี่น่ะไอ้คุยชูมวยกินมาเต็งตังไอ้พัดน่ะปางบะตายายายน
एम एल एक्त लाइरदना भोट पीबा पीदबरा है टोचर तौर चकलाम खोचे पोसक नबसा की चें फ्रीग चमनाब पोसक थमजनी चकथुजे निम चुम पी हाँ था दू ले पीदब था खुदम लोन पी है अखोई की वक्त से थकने हाब Twenty-one candidates of the Gram Panchayat election in Kurai Assembly constituency have joined the BJP. BJP Kurai Mandal organized a felicitation program for the candidates today. Kurai Mandal Assembly Chief Ram Singh Sabha Sadasya 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 Ram Singh Sabha Sadas
Yahun gaya na hangga kumatam di Supreme Court. No, yahun lano. Kau di uniform siapa miki mata ta fire amu lokal am dawa. Siapa miki mata ta fire lokal. Pasing dawa tu mui yahun lga investigation. Jema pung paroroi aduna mui yahun lano aje Supreme Court na clearly hantar kita tahun seventeen ke judgement si dida mama eksen higher. Aduna si mama eksen na higher bani na. Jadi nai higher bani sing tu ki mata ta tiga laka da bani na. Polis na tijan bayu na tawa atau pamiya na tijan laku matam dadi. Akui ki civil society ki role amas si da sangbra na kalle. Kananangamgi Yengnashi, a Shumanglila by artists of Manipuri film industry, will be showcased on September 9th at Iboyama Shumanglila Shanglin. Senior actors Gil Manipu will organize the live performance. Speaking to media persons at Manipu Press Club today, President of the Gil, Lokendra Takelamba, maintained that the Gil has, not, has been working hard to raise the standards of Manipuri films despite funds challenges. He said the Gil could not provide any financial assistance to the public during the recent natural calamities in the state due to shortages of funds. The show which will be held with the support of public for the benefit of people and to develop the artists. However, this will not mean the film artists getting into the field of Shumanglila. There are no thoughts of comparing the film artists with Shumanglila artists. He said the event will be held with the idea of all artists working together. The play based on family will see 15 male and 15 female actors from the Manipur film industry. The play is written by Ranjit Ningthogja and directed by Narendra Ningomba. Sine actress gila si Manipuri film industri esi gigi manungda ya amne saunat thogdang lori ba film actors singni, adu maya masi gigi welfare gida mata adegi ekoi gigi state tholok pa natural calamity gumba da ekoi nakari gumba khara dengu sumating pangbanga ungadra highway gigi wakhalon da ekoi gigi sufficient fund nam khara dakar ohi badegi maya gigi mating launa gida mukta highway ba program masi sinja bani mangli lagi formata sanaba ohi regasu ekoi tasingna ekoi gigi film actors singa sina film gigi area na adegi lapthu oga sumangli lagi kenosi da Kongjang ngasih dah aku ye sem lep tanda sanksen kene hai bi gopham di leje de aku ye sem negi sahi ye magi menung da amu kaktang next year di atau pa program mama amu aku ye nesti install ga atau pa performance sama theater gumba drama gumba kerja gumba muk toro kosui ay. Secretary of Cine Actors Gil Manipur and renowned Manipur film actor G Boni Sharma said Manipur does not have any film institutes where upcoming artists can be provided with a formal training. This has led to budding artists being criticized on the social media, which may lead to artists being demotivated. Boni appealed the public to support Manipur film industry and help strengthen the industry. He also asked for suggestions. The social media sing the yamna yamna he na sokpa koi ke character esa sinet to buna sing musodum sometimes the actor sing na theng hazada badi na the film munung sibiri ba. Aduh, artis sing bunung si biri wa kuai kumna mangga film actor sing bu yokat piu, manipuri film bu yokat piu, film actor sing bu airo, laga film industry bu airo, sokan ana benda kuai kumna mangga mateng pang piu, hari ni hari jari, laga arroy benda, koi na September gi tang ngapan tu usah kita uri ba live performance, asih kuai kumna mangga mapung panah saruk ya biu duna, sin actor gil na kunai sida kari gu makar deng pang tok sagi, kan masih da kuai kumna mangga teng bang piu. A powerful IED exploded at Ward No. 3 in border town Moray. However, no human casualties have been reported. The incident occurred last night around 7.30 near LIC office at Faisam Weng, Ward No. 3. A, te a team led by SDPO of Moray Police Lawrence K. Munlau, 2nd OC Mohammed Akbar Hussain and Moray Commandos inspected the blast site. Window panes and other, three, other items of three nearby houses were destroyed by the blast. Locals have asked those responsible to clarify regarding the blast. They also appealed to not carry out such acts in the future. On the other hand, KSO More and Young Mizo Association More have condemned the blast. Condolences, condolences are pouring in unabated at the loss of former Chief Minister Rishan Kishin. United People's Front UPF Manipur has condoled the demise of the former Chief Minister. Sustainable Opportunity and Universal Livelihood Seoul and Sagolban BJP Mandal distributed labour cards to 180 households at Sagolban BJP Mandal office at Takhilambam Lekai today. Speaking on the occasion, President of Seoul TH Bala said holding labour cards will make the people aware of the facilities provided by the government to school-going children of the card holders. Former MLA of Sagolban KH Loken Secretary of Sagolban BJP Mahila Mandal Hijab Ranjita also attended the event.
Women's Youth Protection Trust organized a one-day awareness program on rights of differently abled persons at Wangkai Kaitila Shangbi Community Hall today. Titular King Sanajawa, MLA Thokchom Satyabrata, State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities, Dr. R.K. Kumarjit, Deputy Director of Social Welfare Department Disability, T.H. Dilip Kumar, Managing Director of Shija Hospital, Dr. K.H. Palin, Founder of Women's Youth Protection Trust, O. Ibo Emma, many people and differently abled persons of the area attended the event. Resource persons at the event stressed the need to provide equal treatment to differently abled persons in the society and provide them with facilities available in relevant departments. A person who had collected about 10 crore rupees promising SSB and BSF jobs to 723 people is now untraceable. The person is identified as Changamayum Manuranjan Kuman, son of CH Brajakishore from Pishumthong Ningom Lerak. He is an advisor of Ministry of Home Affairs, Northeast Region, Internal Security. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, convener of a GAC formed against the act, CH Birendra, claimed that Manuranjan had, had opened an office at his quarter in Langol Housing Complex. He charged 1.5 lakh to 3 lakh rupees per candidate. He had issued identity cards to candidates after conducting training and physical fitness tests for the recruitment of SSB and BSF from 2013 to 2016. Manuranjan had gone missing since March 31st last year after, pro after processes for the recruitment was complete. Birendra said, they have also informed the chief minister and relevant government officials have been informed about the same. Labak Thioraba, SSB BSF Oigani, Hai Kiba candidate Kaya Asina, JSC Group Siem Duna, CIS Manuranjan Kumanbu, Kayarak, Tijare, JSC member Singh, Asina, Pauba, Pau Pangbadagi, Dili the Satu the Tirure, Adubo, Dili the Satan Unravamatunda, Manamatam Tara Taragalaki, Adudagi, Amuk Mezoram the Lady Habadagi, Mezoram Satuna, Amuk Mabu, Unajari, Unajar Bosisu, Mark Adumatam Taragasi Babumatam. Thara Thara ka matam thaydu ogale. Ado akwe namo pelak ta badegi candidate amasung guardian oiba mayamsi na JSC yauna. Koi na police department da FIR phawa thaja kare inti karvasan sale do phawa koi wakachare CM dasu application ta uzadu na koi wakachare CM dasu DG amasung IGP da thada rakto na phagat na na ba udar piraki. JSC amasung candidate ojari ba kaya asina inda government amasung Manipur government da puthopi one hijaningi. After Manipur speaker and other MLS donated their eyes on 25th of this month, social worker of Fumlau Gram Panchayat, Mishna Manikchand, donated both his eyes at Janim's Eye Bank today. On the other hand, Manikchand also helped open zero, bank, zero balance bank accounts, distributed ATM cards and also distributed PAN cards for people under Fumlau Gram Panchayat. I am my with the Mokta Katuk Saba. I bring Manung Chan Madawina, Zenims, I'd bang, she says the Lunana. I meet Dan Tok Sagre, my young with the Mokta, my young with the Mokta Sibolda, I tell the come later now, Lokuluku later now, my young with the Mokta Katuka Luna, I may have Shava Toks again, so Toks are Kuni, Mona Matamanga, some like on the Lobu Kungudra, some the Harbada, Lobu Kungudra, Adegi. I gi kai nobu chat kadra office pusak kadra hai bagi khudong sat me am do parza me am di mo chilla ga ina ngasi bo da ba ji sat ha jari BJP Wangoi Mandal organized an executive meeting at their office in Chamburo Kaitel today the meeting decided to support the political resolution taken at a state executive meeting of BJP Manipur Pradesh the political resolutions were not only read out and discussed but the works taken up by the party since it came to power were recalled BJP Uripok Mandal organized a tree plantation program at Langul Tongal RMB today. Speaking on the occasion, General Secretary Organization Nongtomam Nimbus said the program was carried out under the Green Manipur Initiative. Eleven Brothers Kashampat organized a one day free medical camp at Kashampat Kashamlikai Community Hall today. The camp was held with the assistance from Health Department, National Health Mission, Janims and Ayush, doctors from the field of general medicine, skin, ENT, pediatrics, genia, surgery, eye and dental performed checks at the camp. Hepatitis B and C and sugar screening tests were also performed. Free medicines were also provided at the camp.
Lions Club of Imphal, Imphal East, Lions Club of Imphal Limarol and Lions Club of Imphal Mayalambi in collaboration with Sangmajin Popular Club under the supervision of Mayang Imphal MLA organized a one-day multidisciplinary free medical camp at Sangmajin PHC complex today. Free medicines were also distributed at the camp. An awareness program on various health issues was also held. People were given awareness on diabetes, pediatric care, global warming, vector-borne diseases and environment and health. Ising sao ka luna luna na ako na masida ako may amgi contribution laura ka doctor sa isa gi laiba club ki doctor ato apat apat pam dagi ako doctor hayra ka ako na masi doctor si more than twenty five specialist doctor yao re ano na masi ako yam successful o iba aman niya na ina hygiene niya. Kwaari aro yung dalay laiba ako gi doctor gi samasya doctor gi awat pa kaya na. Thalla leh riba, ana ayek yang mampu itu nana leh riba. Perdana Singh dah semainan mati. Kedang tau biu ana hairup dah. Mayam pulak cangaga. Si mat, fajar pangtuk si ana tau pangtuk biu biu. Ayi tak kerja pangtuk jadi. Thaugal Event Solution opened its new office at Kongba Nandibam Lekai today. Director of T Centre for Entrepreneurship and Skill Development, MIMS, Manipur University, Professor C H Ibohol, Technopol SP Dr S Ibomcha, and many others attended the function. Founder of Thogol Event Solution maintained that they aim at providing various services to the people of the state. Kena Thogol Event Solution dah pijak kedua ber servicing jadi, ni aku lagi event nama tolak pun matang dah. Dah kalah ibu kudima, mi ama mi ama na atau pas jaga tuan tuan mana sum cut kedua ber mohon tak, aku jeda. Loi nama panggil laga. Kau ni loi nama sih bi bahaya tar. Di event management ni, dasu aku ini jeda profesional loi ba. Maya amama aku jeda kenota roga. Kau ini masih dah thamzavan. Any event ki, any sangba mai masak sing je aku jeda loi nama panggil bagi adu ba wakalun dulu aku jeda hutuk savan. A team of Manipur Police Commando and some rifles have arrested a self-styled brigadier of KCP who is also a foreign secretary of Korkom. He has been identified as Marimbam Achoba, alias Achom Maite, 78 years, son of late Naha Maite, a resident of Moirang Thanalikai. Acting on a tip-off, 6th Assam Rifles, Bishnupur District Police Commando and 42nd Assam Rifles arrested him from a house in Tronglaubi under Bishnupur District yesterday afternoon around 1.30. Preliminary investigations revealed that Achow joined Maite State Army in 1952. He joined the KCP in 1991. He came to Moirang two days ago. And in some sports news, Patsoi Tawang, Tawang Rising Club felicitated national San Sanskrit singer, Sankritan singer, I beg your pardon, turned junior Mr. Asia 2017 title winner, Laitonjam Rishikanta, at the club today. Rishikanta bagged the Mr. Asia title in junior 70 plus kg category, representing India at the 51st Mr. Asia Championship held at Seoul, South Korea from 28th to 26th August, organized by World Body Building and Physics Sports Federation. Rishikanta is the son of El Manoj and Indira from Patsway Part 4 and is a player at KBB Jim Tera Sapamirak. Pradhan of Patsway GP and Tomba, President of PTRC L Lokendra, Chief Coach of KBB Jim Tera Sapamirak S. Joy Chandra and many others attended the event. Sadan Bhavadan Natana, Mani Pogya Masu, India Agi Yoyna, Ekoi Minshir Purapangamba, Sumba Sida, Heena, Mayo and Sandana, Agulai bah, naaran sih musim isah sih naok sih dah, mama baru ini mama apa aja nak, apa belum bilam dah, belum sih belum tak pilih nak, apa bah sanoroi, apa bah dari kelas suai bah, apa bah mian mui naba, petik cawan mian mui naba, ama sih mani pul, naik mui sih, bar bah sigi sigi, mixer pun orang kena baca, he na thawai yau tu nak, he na kena mana mana sih. Kita di pasang buku dan yang mana road donation tahu ye, ada lagi ayi Facebook ki friend circle, ada lagi ayi like ayi inau pa inau pi ayi yang bersih, hau raga road donation tu orang tu nak aku pasang na ayi tag leh, ada lagi kalau saya orang panggil apa microphone tu, ada lagi lottery club, ada lagi ayi ayi maru ayi inau ayi cengkeh minum nama macam ngamba mati, ada lagi mai Friends, I'd like to thank you for your support. I'd like to thank you for your support. 
Grassroot Football Development Program organized by All Manipur Football Association under the sponsorship of Tata Trust, which is to be held at 10 different places of Manipur, began at Kumalampak Artificial Turf today. 300 players from six units, DFA Chandil, Siko Lorem Mamlikai, Amfa Imphal, Rao Laring Mamlikai, Kripsha Naurem Thong and DSA Bishnupur and two grassroots leaders from each unit are attending the event. The units taking part in the program will train the budding footballers at the respective football grounds till February 28th next year as part of the program. Sports program manager of Tata Trust, Brizinder Anand, regional manager Manipur, Abhishek Mazumdar, president of Amfa S. Sanatomba and members of Amfa attended the event. And before we wrap up, here are the headlines once again. All Manipur Students Union observes the 52nd Hunger Marches Day today to commemorate the historic agitation launched by students against artificial food scarcity. Mahud Minister Tarnodam Sham Kumar maintains that the state will be developed only when food security, health service and human resource develops. Mob tries to set ablaze the house of a man who allegedly attempted to rape a married woman at Mongsangri Awangalikai. Police prevents the mob from setting the house on fire. And former Wangwe MLA Salam Joy claims that the people of Wangwe constituency have not received rice under Napsa.